this week you actually had a memo from the Treasury Secretary come out saying we don't actually see any fuel in the engine of consumer spending. We don't know where it's going to come from to drive this recovery we're all talking about. What is it going to take to get this focus on jobs in the context where likely all these leaders are going to be saying, stop the stimulus spending, which was, for all its faults, at least an effort to create jobs? I think they missed the bus. And maybe they'll come up with something. What, one in four youths uh, are, are without jobs? They'll never have jobs. Um, the problem is that I think it's all blown opportunities. I mean, you know, someone like Obama had about 15 minutes to do stuff mm. at the very beginning, and he blew it, totally. He blew it even before he became president by agreeing to the terms of the TARP bailout package. So now, I mean, obviously housing is not recovering. It's going to get worse. Uh, you've got a huge crunch there. I live in Humboldt County, California, where at least they grow marijuana. <laughs> There's some money around, but you know, you drive across America, which actually I'm just about to do, and you know, and you read about it. There's nothing going on. It's all dead in the water. What people are demanding is what they had, and they can't go back to what mm. they had. The auto workers are not going to go back to producing the same number of cars with the same number of workers. Technological change, the reorganization of the industry globally, the saturation of the American market means those auto workers will only have high paying jobs if it's in new industries, if it's in industries where their skills can be transferred, mass transit, uh, all sorts of technologies which could make life better for people. But this involves industrial policy. This involves the role of government. Mm. This involves an assertion of the social will over the profit motive. And these are not things we do easily in this country. Jimmy Carter peaked on his second day when he amnested the war resistors. Mm. He went right through because mm. it took the right by surprise. If he'd waited three months, he never would have done it. Mm. Remember, he amnestied every single person who uh, resisted the draft between 1964 and 1974 on his second day. Mm. You know, you have that brief window where you can go in when there is goodwill, when the Congress is momentarily, you know, we've got the new guy in and blank. And, you, and he blew it. The Clintons blew it, of course. Their, their presidency was dead in the water by, what, May of 1993? I think Obama... He spent those first days talking about bipartisanship, you know, which is whenever you hear the word bipartisan, you know you're cooked. <laughs>